So this video is about something which we've had a little bit of a discussion about how to pronounce. Um, uh, we call it the rebote. Um, it might be the rebot. Uh, whatever it is, it's a rebound anyway. And I did say right at the start, my Spanish pronunciation is not great, so <laughs> apologies. <laughs> In essence, a rebot or a rebote is just a bounce back before you complete a step. Looks simple, looks straightforward, we'll add a few bits to it before we finish this video. But the main thing to remember is it's all about this hand. So as a leader, you, you lead forward and just as the weight transfers, you stop and you come back. Now, you don't pull, so this isn't a come here kind of move, and nor is it a if you feel like it kind of move. You need to actually lead the, 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 the bounce back. So, if I, did, if I sort of pulled back, sorry, if, if I pull back in the middle of that, so you'd end up with this sort of kind of sudden bounce sort of thing. And if I, if I keep the arm loose, you end up with this. She'll eventually work it out and come back, but it could take a while. So you need to keep this hand fairly stable. So as you stop, that back hand stops. Yeah? So what do we use this for? Well, obviously, if we're walking down the dance floor and there's someone in front of you, you can stop, you can change your mind about what you're going to do, and do something else to get around them, or you can actually turn it into a turn. Because if, instead of just bouncing, you turn as you go, you're now facing in a different direction. So, my line of dance is over there towards the door. One, two, bounce and turn. So the whole of me turns, so as I turn, I turn like that. This means that we take quite a small side step and the follower takes quite a large side step. If we make the mistake of taking a very large side step at this point, well, <laughs> I'm sorry about this. <laughs> because if we overdo it with the side step, <laughs> she's got to fly. <laughs> so keep the side step small. We won't. It's almost just a position. So it's almost just a Bounce and there. And bring the feet together. Yeah? So. One, two. Bounce and turn. When we do the bounce, sorry, yeah, sorry. when we do the bounce, what we want to try and avoid is too much down. There's a bit of a sinking into it. It comes from the hips though. So you bounce and back. Not bounce and back. You can if you want to really overstyle it. But it, it's, it, it's quite weird. Um, one, two, one. You're going to end up colliding knees. You can do it in certain circumstances, but mostly what you want to do is you want to keep quite upright. One and turn. Yeah. So if you want to turn it all the way around, one, two, one and two, carry on turning, change the weight, and we're now facing almost completely the other way. We're now in cross system, so we have to find some way of getting out of that, usually for the basic cross, but there's any number of ways of doing that. So pick a direction of, of getting out of that, nachos, heroes, whatever, you can use anything. So once more, one, two, bounce and turn, 
carry on turning there. And you can see I'm, I'm leading with my chest. My chest isn't following her, my chest is leading her. If, I, if my arms did the leading and my chest did the following, what you would see is something a bit like that. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. The chest has got to go first, makes the space for her, and um, that way she's, she can stay in balance, you can stay in balance. So for the whole time, I'm facing her.